Hi guys, this is Carrie over at All Seasons RV. Um, as promised, here is the short video for the 297 that we have in stock here. Um, hopefully it's not going to be too shaky. I am going to make this fairly brief so that the video isn't too long and the file's not too big. If you have any questions about anything in particular, let me know. Or if, or if I need to go ahead and do a new video um, on something in particular, just let me know. So right off the bat, you can see here's the model. You've got the kingpin set forward as they do on these open range lights, which I love. Uh, you've got an awning that the slide doesn't interfere with so you don't lose any of that usable space. Got a nice storage area up front here. Goes all the way through, of course. You got a spot for a TV hookup if you want to. Light under here, paper towel holder on the other side. You can see your power cords in there already. Um, and I'm just gonna continue on the outside really quick here. So up front, you can see you've got storage here. In the next compartment over, you've got three 20-pound propane tanks. So you've got plenty of capacity there. And if we keep swinging around the side, you've got a solar prep. So you can get a solar panel and it'll trickle charge your battery. Here's the other side of that storage area with the paper towel holder and another light. And then you also have your enclosed hookups. So you can just run your hoses right down through this hole right there you've got your valves for winterizing tank fill water heater bypass everything you would need you've got cable and satellite hookups there's a light in here as well regular power outlets are in the black box there and then your tank releases of course and your outside shower which has hot and cold water so if we continue you can see the cables for the cable and pulley system that open range uses. I love that system. It gives nice even compression on all four corners of the slide outs. And if we continue around here, you've got the stabilizer arms on the front jacks. It really makes a big difference. They're also on the rear jacks as well. Um, just for that, that sort of wiggle that can develop with some of these units. These are very, very stable. And we'll just continue around the outside just so you can see it. And you've got your ladder on the back. It's pre-prepped if you wanted to add a backup camera. It would be very easy to do. And you've got these really nice looking frameless windows that Open Range does as well. So I'm going to continue inside now. I've got these nice new aluminum steps they're doing, nice and light. When we come in, you'll notice there's no carpeting anywhere in this living area, um, even associated with the slide outs. I love that they're doing that now. That's something they started a little over a year ago. It's been very, very successful. So you can see you've got your two recliners here. Uh, they are freestanding. You can move them around, do whatever you need to with them. Nice big windows. Got the blind drawn on the one because the sun was really beaten in. Windows on both ends of the slide. You've got your couch against the back. Again, another nice big window. That couch is a trifold, so that will pull out and you can have two adults sleep comfortably on it. Got storage up above. You got your TV over here right across from the recliners and you've got your fireplace down underneath which will also put out some heat as well these TVs are pretty nifty because they also open up so that you have more storage back behind didn't want to waste any space it used to be that these televisions took up the whole cabinet now they don't eight cubic foot fridge so you still have the gas option but it gives you a little bit extra capacity I like that they do that you still have the gas option when you're towing and when you're boondocking. And then of course your stove is right next door with your microwave over top. And then you got your kitchen sink area with plenty of counter space. Oh, let me, my radio is going crazy. There we go. Storage underneath, storage up top, nice big cabinets. I like these glass accents that they're doing. You can see it's a good size cabinet. You also have outlets recessed underneath the uh, cabinets on either side so you got plenty of places to plug things in We've got a max air fan in the kitchen here so you can really get some nice air circulating and that is on a switch so you don't have to be that tall to turn it on and then of course you may have noticed this movable island slash table that they are including in this model so if you want to use it as a table you can just flip these sides up you can use it as a dining table we've also got good storage in it nice amount of drawers 
And then on the other side, you've got some nice big drawers here, two of them. So it's a neat little design, very versatile. You can use it for a dinette, you can use it for an island, and when you're traveling, it just stows in between the recliners. So let's just continue to the bathroom and bedroom real quick. Oh, let's take a look at the control panel. Nice central location right inside the door. So if you need to get to anything, it's easy to access. We come up here, got your bathroom. So you can see you got your vanity up top, outlets, you got more storage underneath. Nice angle shower with the glass doors. I'll try and back up a little bit for you. There you go. Skylight up above. And then you've got these cabinets in the bathroom as well. So again, plenty of storage. There's even outlets in here. Lots of space for sheets and towels and things like that. And then your washer dryer prep is down here. So you could do a combo unit that would take up these bottom two. Or you could do a stackable and take out this whole cabinet space. That's entirely up to you. Go ahead and close those. We swing back around here. We're back into the bedroom area. This is a queen size bed. Um, and then you've got your wardrobe slide out over here with your mirror. So hopefully this is giving you a better idea of the actual feel of the unit. So good storage with some drawers on this side, and then the rest of it is all hanging clothing access. Try and get this side for you. There we go. And I like that they're getting away from the bars so that your clothes don't slide around while you're towing. And you got plenty of space for shoes, all that good stuff. So as I mentioned, this is a queen size bed. Um, looking at this though, I would have to take some measurements, but it might be possible to throw a king on here. Um, again, my biggest concern would be the slide out when it comes in, if you would have enough space with a king that the slide could come all the way in, but I can take a little bit more uh, of a look into that for you. Outlets on both sides of the bed, nice storage up top. Of course, you also get storage underneath the bed, right here, Oops, comforter's in the way, there we go. And you can see underneath you've got a couple chairs. Those go with the table slash island. Uh, so if you want a couple dining chairs, you can use those. And that is a very quick overview of the Open Range 297 that we have in stock here. It's a great floor plan, nice and light. It's got a lot of nice features on it, full four season capable with the heating system in the underbelly that has the four inch duct and the cold air return so it keeps that air cycling nice and consistently around those tanks something else i want to take a moment to mention are the heating vents so in these you can see a lot of the heating vents are built into the furniture or the cabinets they do that on purpose because with these you don't have to worry about making a weak spot in the floor you don't have to worry about getting crumbs and dirt and just crud that collects in those vents that are built into the floor and you also don't have to worry about stepping on them in your bare feet, which can be really uncomfortable. Trust me, I have done it. So there's a lot more I can go over on these units, but I wanted to at least give you a quick overview. I can do a longer video for you if you would like me to. Just let me know. That's no problem at all. Um, I apologize for my voice. I'm fighting a bit of a cold. I'm losing it now, so I'm going to wrap this up. Again, let me know any questions that you have. The phone number again is 330-564-0222. Thanks, guys.